China's zero COVID policy continues to exert pressure on its people. Earlier this week, these workers fled a Foxconn facility in central China. It's known as iPhone City because it can make hundreds of thousands of them every day. And this facility has been under a variety of COVID restrictions for months. Fearing those restrictions could get tighter, some workers decided to get out. Some of them were met by officials in hazmat suits. And this desire to get out reveals a great deal about China's zero COVID policy and also about how President Xi's leadership is impacting all of us. Here's how. Zero COVID is very much still in place. This week, Disneyland in Shanghai closed its doors after a single case. No one could leave until they tested negative. This is elsewhere in Shanghai this week. And across China, local lockdowns are common. Everyone in China knows this, and some are keen to avoid them. This is footage from Ikea in Shanghai in August, as people try to evade quarantine. And this footage on a train in June gives you an idea of how the approach works. This puts China out of sync with the rest of the world's COVID strategies, but with underperforming vaccines and concerns about its health service, zero COVID remains, as does the pressure it creates. This was a rare anti-lockdown protest last week in Tibet. But President Xi talks about the people's war to stop the spread of the virus and argues, People's lives come first. We will not waver in our zero COVID policy. And that commitment connects to something fundamental about President Xi's leadership. Xi Jinping has consistently prioritized politics ahead of economics. He's not afraid to take risks that mean the economy will suffer. And his COVID zero strategy is a prime example of that. This can be seen in the elevation of this man, Li Chang. He's to become China's premier, second to President Xi. It's a huge promotion. And this is a man who's been responsible for enforcing lockdowns in Shanghai. That promotion sends the clearest of messages on zero COVID. But while the politics of this makes sense to President Xi, zero COVID comes at a cost. In the words of this leading economist, zero COVID has slowed the country's economy and exacerbated supply chain disruptions. One US analyst called zero COVID a driver of global recession. Of course, China remains the starting point of the global supply chain. It makes 29% of the world's goods. But zero COVID has made it a less reliable supplier. And that shift is a symptom of a broader decision by President Xi. Xi Jinping inherited a China that for decades emphasized economic growth and the building of ties to the outside world, even sometimes putting that ahead of the supremacy of Communist Party rule. But in the past 10 years, he's flipped that around, putting himself and his party policies at the very top of the agenda. And that's why the plight of workers escaping a Foxconn factory this week is one aspect of a far bigger story that extends to President Xi's consolidation of power and to the high streets where Chinese-made goods are sold. President Xi's decisions affect those Foxconn workers directly, but they also affect us all.